Hello everyone. So we got a very big update this week. This update included a lot of gameplay changes, some quality of life additions, and finally, some balance changes. Some of these additions to the game were much needed, and some are just there to make playing the game more enjoyable and less stressful. Let's tackle the new addition first. Reworked settings. Before this update, there was a separate icon which you had to press to access the settings menu. But now, the settings menu can be opened at the top left of the screen. And this new settings has a lot more stuff in it. Let's first talk about the new additions to the settings. You can now adjust volumes for specific sound sources in the game. So if you ever feel annoyed by a specific sound in the game, like for example, the emote music, which I know a lot of you are sometimes annoyed off, especially if there are multiple people using emotes. You could just lower the emote volume down to make it less annoying. And yes, this does save even after you leave the game. And it does apply on ranked mode. So if you wanted to play ranked mode without the background music, now you can. Next addition is the performance mode, for you guys who are having FPS problems, or lag because of the amount of effects in the game right now. You can now use the performance mode to cut down any unneeded particles, shadows and shadows. Hopefully making you guys have little to no FPS issues at all. The next couple of additions on the settings are pretty minor, but are very much useful. You can now hide multiple stuff about the game, like players when you are in match, name tags, ultimate music in the HUD. Oh yeah, keybinds for game pads or controllers are now separate. So if you play on the controller, today is your lucky day. All these additions make the game a lot more accessible and to players and will hopefully help everyone have more of a positive outlook on the game. Now for the gameplay changes. The first change is the backdash nerf. Backdashes now have end lag. Except for attacking. So using a dash right after a backdash is not gonna work anymore, because of the end lag. But you can still use an M1 or M2 after dashing. Because they are not affected by the backdash's end lag. So you can still use the backdash for counters. Of course, I am a very big fan of this change, because chasing people with it is now much more easier. And you can literally just walk to them and catch up to them if they decide to double back dash. But this did kill one of my strategies, which was the dart and dash, and it's now practically useless. So rest in peace the dart and dash. You'll be missed. The distance you travel from back dashing also got significantly nerfed, here is a comparison of the distance before, and now. Very big difference right? Next is a nerf on fast styles is backwards walk speed. So styles like freedom are now a lot slower when they try to walk away. And for the last gameplay change, a nerf on dash invincibility frames. A lot of people were actually blaming rollback for dashing acting very weirdly, but in reality, rollback in the game is pretty much very minimal. And the developer has nerfed the invincibility on the dashes to hopefully make things better. And yeah, those are the gameplay changes. And up next, is the balance changes. This week's balance patch pretty much only affected two styles, but it also nerfed a style. The first balance patch is a nerf on shotgun. Shotgun's bug was actually pretty annoying to fight against before this update. Making it so that it impossible to dodge. But now after this update, dashing against the shotgun barrage is now far more reliable than before. But honestly, after testing it with my friend earlier, it still does feel a little bit inconsistent. Like, after 10 attempts. I have only successfully dodged it once. And that's saying something. And I still get hit when I dodge to the side. And that other bug regarding shotgun is also still there. Where you can use it during an M1 combo, making it swind up a lot faster. Making it come out much faster than usual. Dodging against it is basically impossible. So yeah, not really a big nerf on shotgun. But it still is a good fix nonetheless. And that's about it for the nerfs. The next couple of balance changes are only buffs, and the styles that got buffed are considered to be the worst styles in the game. These two are Kimura and Hawk. Let's start with Hawk first, Hawk now suffers a lot less end lag after missing his sway back. But you can still punish him if he whiffs it, and it is a lot harder to do now. To be honest with you guys, Hawk having no back dash, and having a bad block, while also taking more counter damage is still a pretty bad downside for it. So in all honesty, it still sucks in my eyes. And up next, the next style that got buffed is Kimura. Now this is a buff you should be excited for. Kimura had one of, if not the best glow ups in untitled boxing game history. Here is a full list of his buffs, but to summarize it. Kimura's slowdown can now be applied through blocking opponents. 
but the slowdown applied when they are blocking is halved. His M1 chip damage also got buffed. All these changes, make it much 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 easier to activate his slowness gimmick. And you can even see his slow working pretty early on if you land M2s. Because after this buff, his M2s can now also apply slow. And those M2s count as two M1s when it comes to the amount of slow applied. So M2s for Kimura has a bigger dose of slowness compared to his M1s. And yeah, Hitman, Slugger and Ghost also had new sound effects, and they sound amazing. Here's what they sound like. And that's about it for the update, how do you like this quality of life update? For me, it was such a needed update. And I would rate it a solid 10 out of 10. Anyways, that's about it for me, as always. Thank you guys for the support. And I would appreciate it if you subscribe. And yeah, that's all for me, see you guys on the next one. Peace.